In this video, I am going to be showing you a quick technique to get you started on your road to recovery with foot drop. All you need is a six foot length or a 12 foot length of exercise band. If you don't have exercise bands, make sure to get some offline. They're pretty cheap. You can look up exercise band or you can look up TheraBand, which is the brand name. Sort of like saying facial tissues or Kleenex. Nonetheless, get your hands on what you need. Now, the six foot length is if you have a strong quad. If you have a weak quad or some balance issues, you wanna get a 12 foot length so that we can wrap it around the thigh to help create more stability. Also, I know as a clinician that you don't always have the supplies that you need. So I'm gonna give you a tip. If you were my patient, I would say you need electrical stimulation like the Sabo Stim 1 or the Stim Pro to help stimulate the muscles and the nerve that are affected causing your foot drop. You need an AFO, which is like the Sabo Step, and that's gonna help support your foot or put it in the right position to help you do functional training, which also is gonna replace the technique that I'm showing you next. And you also need to be working with a trained physical or occupational therapist, showing you how to strengthen the muscles, do the right exercises, stretch, functional training, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Nonetheless, let's get to that technique. For technique number one, I'm gonna use a six foot piece of TheraBand. And remember, technique number one is for people that have strong quad muscles, and all you need is six feet of TheraBand. First thing I'm gonna do is match up the insides of the TheraBand. So if it's twisted, make sure that it's hanging flat, sort of like the St. Louis arch upside down, or like you're matching up the inside corners of uh, a pillowcase or um, a quilt or whatever you fold. Nonetheless, um, you do this so that you can find the middle of the exercise band, because that's where we're gonna put our foot. So, hanging it in the air like this, I can see where the middle is. So I'm gonna put it on the ground and get my toes right in the middle of the TheraBand. Make sure that it is underneath the forefoot and not underneath your heel. If you put it underneath the midfoot or the heel, your foot is gonna flop around and the TheraBand's not gonna hold your toes up, which is what foot drop, one of the main symptoms. So let's wrap it underneath the toes and then crisscross it over the top of your foot. Now, your toes are locked into the TheraBand and we're ready to proceed to the next step. Next step is to give it a little bit of tension and then crisscross it behind your calf. Just like so. And then the last part is to wrap it one time around your thigh, around your calf, and then tie it. Now, one thing you need to take into consideration is not tying it too tight, because that can be uncomfortable or cause irritation of the skin, as well as make sure that when you're using this, it does not fall into the area behind your knee, because that's where your blood vessels pass and you can cut off the circulation to your foot. So be weary of that as well. But I'm going to stand up now and show you what this technique has done. My unaffected foot, when I lift it, the toe points to the ground because gravity's pulling it down. But when I lift my affected foot, it stays with the toes almost parallel to the ground. So now I can start my functional training. This is a down and dirty technique, not meant to be used for a long period of time, but it will help you with moving around your house and starting to walk and train. This is what it looks like when you're walking. For technique number two, which is the technique for people with weaker quad muscles, you're gonna need approximately 12 feet of TheraBand. And I think you can order it in that length off of the internet the last I looked. Um, I have about 10 foot here, so you're gonna see me pull it a little bit tight, but that's because that was a remainder that I had on a roll. Nonetheless, make sure that you have enough so that you don't have to pull it super tight. You wanna make sure that you have 11 or 12 foot of this. I'm also six foot three, which sort of plays into factors. So if you're tall, you're probably gonna need a little bit more as well. But you'll see this is about 10 foot long, and again, it works for me, I just have to pull it a little tight. So, technique number two, you start the same way. You match up the inside of the TheraBand ends, sort of like folding a quilt or folding a bed sheet. 
to find where the middle of the TheraBand is. Then I'm gonna put my toe in there. Remember, not on your heel, because that'll let your foot flop around. We wanna put it underneath your toes. Then, crisscross it over the top of your foot. Give it some tension. Crisscross it behind your calf. Give it some tension again. Crisscross it over the top of your thigh. And then wrap it around your waist and tie it in the front. Now, the one thing you want to do is make sure that you don't tie this too tight so that it's cutting into you, cutting off circulation, causing wounds, etc. Okay? And then you can stand up and you can see that just like technique number one, it helps keep my foot with the toes up. So when I walk, not only am I getting support of my foot, but also with this crisscrossed over my thigh, I'm now keeping my thigh from hyperextending, which is usually what occurs when people have weaker quads. So when I'm walking, it'll help lift and then keep it in place. Also, this is coming across my hip flexors. When I lift my hip, I can feel my hip flexors firing and it's giving some pressure or a cue for those muscles to also work properly. I want to thank you for letting me show you this quick technique using an exercise band to help with your recovery on foot chop. For more information on any of the devices I showed or any of our other innovative devices, please visit us at www.sabo.com and our social media sites or our YouTube page. Also, I want to remind you that if you have a latex allergy, make sure you're using a latex-free exercise band for this technique and or any of your other exercises, and make sure that you avoid falls at all costs. When using this technique, make sure that you have something that's helping you keep your balance, like another person, a countertop, a cane, a walker, etc. I wish you luck, my friends, and remember, with Sabo, there is no plateau in sight.